Greetings, my friends. As the global economy begins to emerge from the crisis that was the pandemic, the pandemic starts to uh, lighten up a bit, and it's not as it's not as drastic as it was. Still, a lot of stuff going on. There's still a lot of cases and 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 people getting getting sick and people dying, but it's easing off a lot more than it was before, according to the experts. And the world is starting to crawl out from under the rocks and crawl out of the caves, if you will, and as an analogy, and, and, they're, and they're starting to try to get the economies uh, jump-started again, but they're dealing with massive unemployment around the world and, and massive inflation around the world and, 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 and massive just uh, all kinds of problems money-wise and anything to do with the financial system. It seems to be falling apart. <clears throat> it seems to be like they can't find an answer. And all of the the great global elites, all the leaders of the world, all of the economic wizards, all the billionaires, all the people who know about the money system, monetary system, have been coming together for what they call a great reset. They want a great reset of the entire planet. They want everything to be reset from the bottom up to try to change the entire planet, change the entire earth. And the, one of the main, if not the main aspects of this, of this great globalist reset is a move to transition us into a cashless society. And they don't know how quite yet. They're <clears throat> trying to figure out how are we going to do this? Um, what's going to be the best bet? Some have talked about getting a certain kind of credit card, of but the credit cards can be hacked into. Some have talked about taking uh, something and putting it of, you know, putting something um, under your skin, but that can be hacked as well. Something something that's it's just it's just it's just put under the skin and talking about different kinds of of of, of, of different electronic things can be used on cell phones that can be hacked and i'm telling you where the whole thing's going to my friends the whole thing in my humble opinion is going to the mark of the beast the bible says that's what's going to be the way people buy and sell during the very soon tribulation after the even sooner imminent rapture i believe the bible i live it i breathe it i preach it i teach it and i'm convinced <coughs> is what's going to happen i mean even even with barack obama's obamacare the Affordable Care Act, uh, nicknamed Obamacare, that the doctors who run that thing said that the RFID chip that they have of uh, buried in 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 the in, in the mass bill that, that that is that Obamacare slash Affordable Care Act, the doctors say that chip, uh, if if it's inserted into people, the best places to insert it to make it work uh, optimally is in the right hand or the forehead. <laughs> I kid you not. Does that sound familiar? Okay, and <clears throat> and Obamacare is still around. They've tried to get rid of it. Uh, when, when Trump had the House and the Senate, he was president. He still couldn't get rid of it. It won't go anywhere, I don't believe, because I still believe that that chip in there may be tied into it. It's very possible. But I'm convinced that's what's going to be the in the global reset for the, for the cashless society, the mark of the beast, where you can't buy or sell without having that mark. And we're already seeing things in the world leading up to that where people can and can't do certain things if they don't have certain things or certain things aren't done and and it's easy to see how the world could just would just take that and just accept it without questioning because the world's being preconditioned to accept anything that, that the governments and the leaders say without questioning <clears throat> and the, the devil does not come and just jump on you right away he comes and gets his toe in the door and maybe, maybe his foot maybe his ankle his calf his knee his thigh then his whole body, then he's got you. He, he's, he's a wily rascal. And it's just uh, incredible how fast things are happening, how the world is, is just is just looking for this. And the Antichrist, who I'm convinced is the most powerful man the, on the planet right now, living right here in this country, right in the city of Washington, D.C., I'm convinced of it. I believe he's going to come out and say, hey, I've got a, I've got an idea. And it, it's, it's really funny because he already has the healthcare system already already ready to go with his name on it, ready to go ahead and, and fire it up and get it going. So it's very, very, very interesting if I'm right. This is what my opinion, what I believe. We are in the last of the last days, my friends. All the signs of the Bible are here right now showing us that we are in the final minutes of the final seconds, not even days and hours anymore. Final minutes of the final seconds on God's prophetic clock. God's clock's different than ours <clears throat> of the world as we know it before the imminent rapture happens and takes the bride of Christ out of this wicked cesspool and into heaven. Praise God. I can't wait. I, I know I've got so many friends that can't wait. 
who, who, who like me just are, are constantly in pain and turmoil physically, emotionally, mentally, and just suffering. We won't suffer much longer, my friends. We're going to be out of here like last year, and I can't wait. But it's all lining up. Like I said yesterday in the video, the false prophet and the Antichrist are actually best friends on earth right now. And they're actually the two most powerful men on earth together, and also the two most loved men on earth together. It's amazing how things are just all winding up and how the Bible's coming to pass. Don't be left behind. Find Jesus Christ today. If you've never been saved, you're backslidden. Pray the prayer. Do the six steps in the box below the video. No one's guaranteed any more time in your life. If you like prayer, contact me. I'll pray for you every day. I love you all dearly and look up true Christians or redemption draweth nigh. We fly soon. May God bless you. Share all my videos, everything that I put out. I'm always sincere because my faith helped me to get the sermons and videos out so people can make it to heaven. I love you all dearly. May God bless you. Take care and make sure you share and be ready.